So I wanted to break down a few reasons why the iPhone 11 Pro could actually be a better iPhone than the iPhone 14 Pro. Now, again, this is a stretch, and if you already have something like the iPhone 14 Pro, I wouldn't recommend downgrading to the 11 Pro, and the 14 Pro is a better iPhone in every single area, but there are a few key areas where the 11 Pro might be a better option. Now, the first thing I want to say is the price tag. Of course, when the iPhone 11 Pro first came out back in 2019, it was a $1,000 phone, and that was a very, very expensive phone at the time. It still is, a th you know, $1,000 is still very expensive. However, that phone has now degraded in price much more than what the 14 Pro is. I mean, you can buy an iPhone 11 Pro all day for way less than $500. I'd be surprised if you can find one on average for about $400, but that is a very decent price tag to buy and pay for an iPhone that is still in tremendous build quality. I mean, realistically speaking, the core feature features are kind of the same. Of course, the 14 Pro is a little bit bigger, but for that smaller size phone, some people may actually prefer a smaller phone, and that could be another feature as well. If you don't want a bigger sized phone, like the iPhone you know, 14 Pro, for example, it's heavier, it's thicker, some people may not like that. You can always go for something like the iPhone you know, 11 Pro, have a smaller phone. This was the last 5.8 inch model that you know Apple made. So you can go and buy this thing and have an even better feeling phone in your hand than maybe some other devices you could ever think of. So that might be another advantage for you as well. On top of that, and this is the big one, the availability. The availability of the iPhone 11 Pro, it is insane how many iPhone 11 Pros there are in the market. I'm actually looking on eBay right now and there are tons of iPhone 11 Pros being sold for less than $300 and less than $400. There's some for $350, $390, $260, which may not be in the best quality, but there are so many iPhone 11 Pros available all day. You can go for the 11 Pro, you can go for the 11 Pro Max, and that is another massive feature for this type of device. When you are getting something like an iPhone 11 Pro, you can pretty much get a device like this and save yourself a bunch of time and a bunch of money. For example, with the iPhone 14 Pro right now, if you want to go ahead and buy it, you know, in the, you know, you brand new market you really have one choice and that's going through apple or best buy or whatever other store but you know brand new you have to go through one of those devices you know manufacturers the problem is is that the 14 pro is being delayed like crazy these iphones aren't even shipping until like a month from now so they're not even going to get to you probably for like a little bit like a month and a week or something like that who knows and that can kind of be an issue if you're wanting to go ahead and pick up an iphone like an iphone you know 14 pro well you're kind of at a weird situation where you can't even buy the phone that you want so that might be another thing and the longer you wait the probably the longer the delays will be so if you want an iphone that is better you know in some areas like the availability and the price tag i think the 11 pro is the one for for you if you have the money in the world that obviously go for the 14 pro but i think there are still some key areas where the iphone 11 pro is surprisingly better than the iphone 14 pro so that pretty much covers it up if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button on me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then